Hey everyone, it's Mr. Veve, and this lesson is on nutrient absorption. So let's get right into it with our first key concept. The body systems work together to carry out nutrient absorption. So we're going to follow the path of some food or, or drink that you would take into your body and see what happens to it along the way. So first, food is broken down mechanically and chemically using enzymes. Now everything starts in your mouth. So if you notice here, the mechanical part is chewing. So grinding those food particles up, shredding them, making them smaller and smaller. And actually there's a little bit of uh, amylase, which is an enzyme that starts breaking down starches. And that comes from your salivary glands. Now amylase is also uh, secreted by another organ, but the amylase first comes from your salivary glands in your mouth. So digestion starts in the mouth. So next, the food is going to move down the esophagus. And so the esophagus muscles through the action of peristalsis, which is the contracting and relaxing of muscles, it's actually going to help move that food through uh, into the stomach. So esophagus peristalsis leads to the stomach. And while in the stomach, the food is going to be uh, churned and mixed up a whole bunch and, and uh, a whole bunch more enzymes are used, including something called a pepsin, which helps break down proteins. And there's also uh, HCL, which is hydrochloric acid. That is why the pH of the stomach is so low is because that acid helps churn things and break things down even more. The mechanical portion of the muscle of the uh, digestion here is those smooth muscle contractions of the stomach that help move that food around. It doesn't just sit there in the digestive enzymes, it is continually churning, moving around. So after the stomach, it goes into the small intestines. So in the small intestines, food continues to break down and nutrients start getting absorbed into the bloodstream where it can be carried to different cells. Now again, peristalsis is the mechanical portion here of the digestion as those muscular contractions help move it through and uh, the chemical is all the enzymes like uh, and bile and all the different hormones that are going to help finish that uh, digestion of all the proteins and carbohydrates and fats that are in the food. So if you notice here on the picture on the right the small intestines are kind of just below the stomach and enclosed within the large intestines which we will see uh, in just a minute. So in the small intestines this is the really important part about them they have what are called villi and even microvilli. Now these are uh, small finger-like projections that help increase the surface area of the small intestine to help it absorb more nutrients. If the small intestine was just flat, it really wouldn't have a whole lot of surface area in which to uh, help um, absorb all the nutrients necessary. So actually it's kind of a finger-like projection that you see if you look at it under the microscope. So even the projections that you can see, if you look closely at those, those have even smaller projections. So that increases surface area and helps those nutrients get absorbed a little bit better. So once those nutrients get into the bloodstream, the circulatory system kicks in here and starts helping uh, move those where they need to be, all the different cells of the body, uh, you know, muscle cells, bone, uh, different organs, anything that may need the nutrients that have been absorbed in the small intestine. So if you want to know how they kind of move in and out, well, nutrients are going to move out um, into the cells from the, from the uh, bloodstream and waste from those cells is going to move back into the bloodstream. So that waste that moves into the bloodstream is going to be carried in the circulatory system so that it can be excreted later through the excretory system. Now the large intestine, remember I said that is a, a, a very... Uh, a much shorter piece uh, that wraps around the small intestine you can see in the picture right there. The main function of the large intestine is to absorb excess water from the undigested food that comes through the stomach and small intestine. So that way uh, that water can be reused by the body. Now how waste gets out of the body, there's a couple of different systems involved. So waste from cells that are removed by the excretory system, that's in the form of urine. So those cells um, uh, send their waste into the bloodstream and it's carried through the circulatory system and cleaned uh, by the kidneys, which then send it into the bladder and uh, urine is produced. Now undigested material is eliminated from the body as a solid material known as feces and this is done by the digestive system. So I don't want you to confuse excretory system and digestive system when we're eliminating waste from the body here. And so finally we've got uh, something about the large intestine. Now there are tens of trillions of bacteria that live in your gut, I'm sure you've heard. 
uh, and this is mostly in the large intestine, and they help protect us from other bacteria that could potentially be harmful. So we do have bacteria in our gut that actually help us out. They help us digest certain plant matter. They help us uh, synthesize certain vitamins. So it's a, it's a good idea to have this kind of a symbiotic relationship here so that our gut can be protected from harmful bacteria and actually help us out by digesting certain materials.